Hey, rock stars, it's Lid Sean. We're here at AES 2022 at the Javits Center. I'm hanging out with Kitch. How you doing, Kitch? Good, man. Good to see you. And we're at the Soundflow booth, so I thought we'd stop by and pay you a visit and let you tell us what you guys do, because it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. So Soundflow is a workflow automation platform, and uh, we essentially control DAWs like Pro Tools. We actually have a strategic partnership with, uh, with Avid, and uh, we've actually created a deck that you can use, like any new users uh, starting with Soundflow, you get a free 30-day trial. We also have uh, a partnership deal where people who have a perpetual subscription to Ultimate, and if they have a flex subscription that is current and a studio subscription that is current, that they get three months uh, free trial of the Pro Edition, and then after that they get the, the free Avid Edition. If you're familiar with the Stream Deck Rockstars, that's this cool looking thing here. And it lets you create buttons to control stuff in Pro Tools that might be a little harder to control. And then Soundflow interfaces with that and, and uh, makes it so that you can actually have one of these buttons do pretty complicated stuff, right? So give, it, give us a brief overview of what it is that yeah. this tool is. So um, uh, right now, this is the uh, a Stream Deck. It's made by a company called Elgato. But we can also uh, show these decks uh, here um, on iOS and Android devices and uh, and stream decks of course um, this is a cool uh, deck that I made for um, uh, um, for a client and uh, uh, right here I've got a bunch of plugins and what this uh, what this deck does is it uh, will instantiate a plugin in the next uh, available insert slot so if I have a track selected uh, come over to the screen over here uh, so if I have, a, have this track selected here um, if I click a button on this on the stream deck you want to come down here if I click this button it's going to open the um, uh, Pro C on the, in the next uh, available insert slot like this there all right go. so that just opened this yeah. whole plugin on the window I right can, I can add another one just like this you know if I wanted to add an EQ or a DSR like that you know and and with uh, the Avid edition we have this deck here where it has like all the standard features that you would uh, use with with Pro Tools so we've got audio suite uh, uh, stuff we've got automation window stuff so you can like toggle the pre preview button um, uh, for automation we've got like colors where you can uh, select a clip uh, and you can uh, click the colors and you can change the colors super quickly that's awesome and you can also do I think you guys make a custom deck maybe with Andrew Sheps or something right where you can do customized colors as well yeah, we, we have a, a series of uh, a, a bunch of developers, about 14 of them at the moment, uh, working hard on creating apps. Uh, Andrew Sheps has created some amazing apps. Uh, uh, in particular, uh, Bounce Factory uh, is just incredible. It allows you to like bounce your mixes while you're sleeping. So uh, you can set up all of your different like snapshots of how you want your sessions to be bounced, and it will just go and do it. And it'll, like it'll send you like an email or a text message. That uh, stuff is so out. awesome. It's so good. Um, it's good. You know, it's very cool that you guys are building these pre-made decks, and essentially, if you sign up and you get, you know, you get this installed, it comes with a whole bunch of automations ready to go for Pro Tools. That stuff you might not have even thought about yet. Like for example, let's say you want to make. Um, eight vocal tracks really quickly that are ready to you know for recording vocals into it'll do that kind of stuff right absolutely you can make uh, really customized um, uh, macros and scripts you can like dig deeper into like javascript programming uh, but uh, when you initially get uh, soundflow it comes with over 1600 pre-built macros that do a lot of the things that you just want to do and we've got a, a brilliant community that will, uh, you know, like they, they love helping people. So if you've got any questions, you just head to the forum, ask a question, say, uh, you know, this is the workflow that I want to achieve. And, uh, and and a lot of the times they'll like write the script for you even, so it's great. So, so if I was just to describe a basic thing, let's say I wanted to make my own macro, I'm sure. like. So um, uh, something that like a lot of sound designers use uh, um, and even a lot of uh, you know producers and uh, mix engineers use is they want to be able to open, render, and close a an audio suite plugin with a, like a specific preset. That's really easy to achieve in Soundflow. Um, come check this out. So, uh, like for example, I would say, let's say I'm I'm working on a vocal and there's P pops. I'd want to be able to select where the P is, yeah. filter out the low yeah. end, and then close the thing. Exactly, or like de-clicking. Say, 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 uh, check this out. So if I if I open up uh, um, this here, if I scroll down in the packages list, we've got this uh, this Pro Tools folder, and inside the Pro Tools folder, if I select Audio Suite. 
we have this uh, um, uh, this command here uh, where we can create a new preset by clicking the add preset button here and I'm just going to call it D click and uh, and then what we can do is we set the category and we know that it's going to be an isotope plugin so I'm just going to put the isotope and uh, and then the name of the plugin I know uh, from the uh, the audio suite window up here if I go to, to isotope I know that it's going to be called rx9 d click so if I if I come back here and I write rx9 d click hopefully I've got the spelling right and say if I had a, a preset I'll just o open this just so see if we've got a preset in there so in here um, if I had a preset like I've got one that's called light so I can set that up so it will open render and cl close with that preset so if I come in here and and uh, press return and then you can set up the input mode to be clip by clip or uh, entire selection and the output mode so if I wanted to like create a um, continuous file and so the next thing I do is I'd add a trigger and, uh, um, and I can set it up so it only works when Pro Tools is focused. And then I can click record and then I'll use Control X as my trigger. And um, uh, if we come back over here, select a clip, you just run Control X and it'll open, render, and close the plugin. It's as simple as that. That's awesome. So specifically with Audio Suite plugins, they're kind of a pain in the butt because like you can't even, I don't even think you can organize them and, and you know, so it's very hard to even find the plugins in there sometimes. Yeah. So it's really handy that you can just set that up and not have to deal with it a whole I lot. Get, I, I guess the main thing is when we're using our DAWs, uh, because the functionality is so dense of, of, you know, what you can achieve, that it's, you're always like constantly clicking like tiny little buttons, you know, scrolling through menus. And like once you do things, you, you kind of like lose the creative flow. So this is all about like staying in the creative flow and also speeding up your workflow to give you back time uh, to spend on like more creative things. You know? Awesome. Well, Kitch, thanks so much for thanks. doing this with us. Um, you, where can the rock stars go find out more about this? What if they want to try it out and get started? Uh, soundflow.org. Uh, head to soundflow.org and um, yeah, you can sign up for a 30 day trial there. And um, yeah, and, and come, come visit. Yeah, rock and roll. Awesome. Thanks for watching, Rockstars. We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.